Mary Murphy uh, grew up in Washington, D.C.? No, no, no. no. That's where I was born. Oh, you were born? I was born in Washington. What? Are you going to ask me the year? No, 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 <laughs> darling. But where, where, where did you grow up? I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, okay. Actually. Well, it's the outskirts of Cleveland. It's right. a little town called Rocky River. Uh -huh. And I spent uh, my first 11 years uh -huh. there. Now, we had an ideal situation. We were right on Lake Erie, and right behind was like a forest. Well... To a young child, it seemed like a forest. Right, now right. it'd be like a little park, but it was <laughs> like a forest. Wonderful place to grow up. Uh -huh. Yes. Sounds great. Yes, it was. Show business. How did Mary Murphy get into oh, theatrics? God. I'm looking at you. I, yeah. Well, you know, every time I tell this story, everybody goes, oh, yeah, 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 sure. That's, that's the way it happened. But I don't know if you remember the talent scout for Paramount Studios, Milton Lewis. Of you course, remember? of course. Did you Milton know Lewis, of course. He just died he, recently. He was 93. Right. He used, yes. to, he used to get the greatest. Yes, he did. He was a good talent scout. Oh, one of the best. He went around America looking for, in colleges and stuff like that. Yes. University. Yes. Were you and in plays. university at the time or a play? No. What happened? No, I was working at Saks Fifth Avenue. No, I wasn't a sales lady. I was a package wrapper. I had just graduated from high school, University uh -huh. High School, and uh, was working at Saks. So I would come in, go into the drugstore, the Milton Christ. Do you remember Milton Christ drugstore? Go ahead. The Beverly uh, Wilshire Hotel. Wilshire Hotel. I would go in there, have my breakfast, and then go to work. One morning, it was raining. I had my hair in rollers uh -huh. and the uh, scarf on uh -huh. and the whole thing, and I'm having my breakfast, and this little man comes over. <laughs> and as you know... He Here's your car. <laughs> they all want you to get into movies, right? And here, you know, Milton with the big ears, he looks really like the missing link. One of the dearest men I've ever known comes up to me and, and just said, asked me my name, and would, was I an actress? And I said, no, 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 I'm not an actress. Don't uh -huh. be ridiculous. Uh -huh. And he said, would you be interested? And, and I'm looking, you know, here's this guy who's uh -huh. about five feet tall, and looks like the missing link, and I'm going, oh, you know. I, at 18, I knew everything. Anyway. You were 18 years old then? I was 18, okay. yes. And uh, <laughs> he said, well, if you, if you decide that you'd like to come and, and have an interview with me, here's my card. Right. Give me his card. So I go back into the... Uh, uh, where my little cubby hole for ra wrapping packages at, at the uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. And Fern Goodman, uh -huh. she was working there, very nice girl. And she played the violin, and she said, I know Milton Lewis. She I knew said, him, huh? Yes. I said, oh, my God, you know Milton Lewis? And she said, yes, it's for real. I said, do you think I should call him? I mean, he doesn't look like the type. She said, call him. There's no problem there. Uh -huh. So we called Katie. I'll never forget a darling <coughs> secretary. She answered the phone, and she said, uh, oh, Mary Murphy, yes, he, she told me about when can you come in? Uh-huh. So I thought, oh, boy, am I important here, you know, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we made a date for my day off, which was a Thursday. Uh -huh. And I went in and uh, went to Paramount Studios, and it was all, everybody was very friendly, and I'm in my saddle shoes uh -huh. and sweater and uh -huh. skirt, and uh, went in and uh, met uh, Milton Lewis and Charlotte Clary. Charlotte Clary was the drama coach, lovely woman. Right. So nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked and chatted and so on and so forth, and they said, well, this and Mary, we're, we're kind of interested in you, and seeing as you've never had any acting training, would you be willing to come in? <laughs> on your day off and work uh, with and train, us. And train. And, and, and then we'd make a test and see how it went. Right. And I said, well, sure. You're nothing he else. He believed but in you that much. I oh, guess. Well, well, I don't think he would have unless she did also. <laughs> right, right. You know, I think that's why she had to be there because if I she see. saw... She the, saw this. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think yeah. so. So I would go in every Thursday. had to take two buses to get... No, three buses to get there. I was uh -huh. living in Culver City at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I would go in there, and it was like going to school. I just had a good time. Everybody uh -huh. was friendly and nice. Paramount was a lovely studio. It really was. But, Mary, first film, when did they try you in? You did your screen test. Uh, no, no. No, you didn't do a screen no, test. No, no. I, so, I, we had a thing called the fishbowl. What's and that? A fishbowl was a, it was a little stage, glass partition. Lights hit up against it. You can't see out, but they, and there's an audience on the other side, oh. of it, maybe about 20 people, 25 people. Okay. And there's a microphone, and they watch you, and you perform. You can't see them. Uh -huh. So I was doing this periodically. Mm -hmm. Well, one time in particular, this is about, oh, I'd say two or three months later. Right. And all of a sudden, I noticed the door was opening and closing, right. and I thought, uh-oh, something's happening here. Uh -huh. And uh, so I did my little scene. In fact, it might have been with Bill Reynolds. Uh -huh. uh, the other fellow's yes. friend, Bill uh -huh. Reynolds, yes. Bill Reynolds, I hope you are okay, you nice fellow. <laughs> you sweet. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, then Charlotte said over the microphone, Mary, 
wait for a minute, will you, and just sit. Uh-huh. So I'm sitting, I, so I'm saying, okay, something, you know, <laughs> something's going on here, uh-huh. what is it? Uh-huh. And then they said, okay, Mary, thank you, you can go. And it, nobody had left on the other room. Right. So I went out and went into Charlotte's office uh-huh. and waited, and pretty soon, and I heard then, thud, boom, boom, you know, everybody going out, you know, and all uh-huh. of a sudden, Milt comes in and, oh, he was just so happy. It was, you know, it was like I had just given birth or something. He so was they so, signed you up. And they said yes. They, they, and what was the first film? Well, then, then the first film I did was my test. After they signed me to a contract, first they put me on layoff immediately uh-huh. so that I would <laughs> then get 40 <laughs> weeks straight through. I appreciated that. Uh-huh. I was getting $27 a week at SAC, so I appreciated that. And so when I came back, which was uh, the uh, 20, uh, what was it? No, 10 week? What was the vacation? 10 week, I believe. Right. And I came back, and the first thing I did was a screen test. Mm-hmm. Uh, which did you work with someone in the screen test? Who, oh, someone uh, well known? Bill, Bill Reynolds. Bill Reynolds is the guy you did it with. I, and Jerry Hopper was and the Jer- director. Jerry Hopper. Yes. Oh, it was. And he was very helpful, Jerry. Oh, I'm, he was wonderful. Yes. The screen test was dreadful. Was it? Oh! So what did they see in the screen test, Mary? I'm glad they had signed me before the screen test. The screen test was like blank. Uh-huh. I mean, it was like no thought process. Uh-huh. It was like a robot. It, uh-huh. was, it was amazing. It was what really do you think a, they saw in Mary Murphy at the time? Oh, they told me what they, what? What they liked. What? was the fact that I seemed very natural. They said they get a lot of people that have had a lot of training, bad training. Yes, yes. No, no, yeah. I'm not talking about at New that York time, and the method yes, at or At that anything. time, they no, were no. looking for something very natural, though. Yes. Yes, sweet and natural, very california well, too. Well, I don't know about sweet, but... but, that, but that was the era, the time. This is in the 50s. Yes, yes. Yes, early 50s. Early 50s, right. The first film, I'm going to get back with you, Mary. What was it? Okay. Uh, when they put me under contract, they, Life Magazine was covering the story on me, and they wanted to finish it off with the Life Magazine right, and the whole right. thing. I never made it. <laughs> so, but anyway, so they put me in a Bob Hope movie. Ah, <laughs> you're in a Bob Hope film. But just the Lemon Drop Kid. Yes. Is that Mary Murphy's first? The I Lemon say Drop one, Kid. I say one line, <laughs> and that oh, I'll never forget it. Never. They put on black leather gloves. Okay. Tight. Uh-huh. And I come up, and Bob Hope is playing Santa Claus, and the joke was he makes change. Uh-huh. And so I come up to him, and it's outside, and there's all kinds of right. extras and everything. And I'd never been in a film in my life. And uh-huh. I walk up to him, and he says, uh, and I go to, and I said, I'm sorry, I don't have any change. And he lifts up his Santa thing. He's, oh, that's all right, lady, and does this uh-huh. and so on and uh-huh. so forth. So the director uh, comes up to me, and I'm not going to mention his name because I do not like him. And he said, you know, a lady would take off her gloves oh. before she would deal with money. So here I am, all going right. on, right. buildings were outside, right. thousands of people, and I come up and I'm to take my gloves, gloves off. off. Right. And <laughs> I'm sweating, your hands swell, right. they're uh-huh. wet, and I can't. Another OJ, <laughs> another OJ you're doing, right? <laughs> I oh, that's Jay. naughty. <gasps> I know. Oh, that's naughty. <laughs> I, I didn't know. have on plastic right. gloves under it. I couldn't get the bloody gloves right, off. Right, right. But Mary <laughs> Murphy. I hated that. Director. What was your first, very first big film ever? Big film was Main Street to Broadway. That's with... Uh, Tommy Morton. Tommy Morton. Right. right. Do you know Tommy? Of course. Did you of interview course. Tommy? No. He was a great dancer. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent dancer. But I did yes. not. But he... That was a good movie. Oh. Uh, well, it was a good movie. It, it goes on classics once in a while. I love the it? director, Tay Garnett. Uh huh. Oh, what a nice man. And then what? Well, how did Marlon Brando get Mary Murphy? I want to jump right to he? it. How did Marlon Brando, because you had to go through Marlon yes. in a wild one? Yes. But, I, but not initially. But no? not, a, not, not initially. Stanley Kramer? No, no. Who did uh, you have? Uh, my agent, or I was submitted. I don't know. I went in, I did a reading for uh, Laszlo Benedict, the director, right. and for John Paxton, who uh, later became he, yes. a great friend of mine. Right. He did the screenplay. He did. Lovely man. Uh-huh. I read for them. They liked me. Uh-huh. Consequently, now I never saw Stanley. He never wanted, did. He, no, he looked at film. He was the producer of he that was the film. Producer? That was his last film he produced. That's right. And then the he went into, ones? Yes. And, and then, then he, he became a director. Then he became a director, ah. yes. Then they said, now we want you, but Marlon, you have to, Marlon wants okay. to see you. Now, at that time, I didn't know who Marlon Brando was. His films weren't out. I didn't see uh, Streetcar. Yeah. 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 I did not know who Marlon Brando Mary was. Mary Murphy, you're sitting there t- telling me you didn't know who Mar- Marlon Brando was after Streetcar? It wasn't out. Oh, it wasn't out. No, at the time. this is. You mean Wild Ones came first? No, after, I mean, but but before uh, the 
They issued, uh, they didn't issue that out first? No. Really? No. no. This is 19, our, our film came out in 1954. Four. I think we filmed in 53. Three. Okay. I think. Okay. I'm not, okay. Don't hold okay, me to that. Okay, let's get with Brown. Anyway, oh, oh. Well, he had true to form. True to form. First of all, Marlon was gorgeous. Absolutely right. gorgeous. I had n no preconceived idea who this man was. So they leave me alone in, I think it was the uh, director's uh, office. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, this guy comes in with Levi's and a T-shirt. Surprise, surprise, right? right? Something comes new in for Mary and Never looks at me directly. Everything is De to the side, you know, and, uh -huh. and you know. The new look. The new look. The Mary. new yes. That's the, the new animal. Because he walked around. The did room. you feel that animal? Oh yeah. You did. And sexual attraction. Oh. Did he look at you sexually like when at that time? You think? Well, it was very provocative. Provo ah. Not uh, lecherous in the sense of you know looking right, at right, legs right, or right, other. Right. 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 The way he did it. Yeah. No, it was very uh, uh, very different. Uh-huh. And it, uh, obviously it was very. Brando different. brought a new thing to the film. Oh, new yeah. thing to the stage. He was the man who really changed. invented and changed the whole theater and yes. film. Yes. Am I right? right? Let's show this scene. I'd okay. like to see this scene of okay. Marlon Brando and Mary This Murphy. is one of his tamer scenes. But is it? Yes. Yes, it's a tamer now, scene. Let's see, let's see this scene. Yes. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Show the wild one. All my life. So, we've been over to Carbonville at the meet. A bunch of motorcycles came through this way yesterday. They didn't stop. Is that what they give you in those races for killing yourself? That's right. You want it? Hmm? Well, go on, take it quiet. No, go on. You can't do that. You. You won it. You have to get your name engraved on it or whatever you do. It's important to you. You don't you don't give something like that away just like that. Not unless you knew a girl real well and well and you liked her. Hey Johnny. You about this town. They got a dock here. They're gonna rewire crazy. Hey, what are we gonna do? Sit around and scratch ourselves? Yeah, we gonna wait for crazy? Or are we gonna get out of this dump? Wait for crazy. Oh, that is that is scene is hot scene. It must well, have been a very hot scene at that time of the Yes. Today it would be like ho hum. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, but that I mean, was hot the, then those Yes, yes. He, and that a, yes. he brought it first. Oh. He was the first one brought that to the screen. That oh, I was, passion. He, yes. Yes, very definitely. Working that, with that. Brando at the time, working your scenes with him. Tell me about it, Mary. Well, he knew. See, I can have a great facade. I can come out and I look like I know what I'm doing. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, but I look like I do, uh -huh. which is good for acting. That's great. By the way. Yes, yes, it of course. Helps. But he knew. Uh huh. He knew. He knew I that you were scared to death. He did. Oh yes. He's very. Per he has that animal right. perception. Uh huh. Now I've heard since we did this picture, he was a very nasty fellow to some leading ladies. Uh -huh. I don't know. He, he wasn't was then to you, not at all. No, he was very nice. Brought me over before we started shooting. We sat down in the little coffee shop and so forth, and he sat me down. We started talking, and he'd ask me questions and start laughing, and he, his whole persona changed entirely uh -huh. to one of just a friendly, let's go have some fun together. But when that I. camera's rolling, it's something. Oh, that happens. But, yes. That, it's a magic, it, huh? It is a magic. Tell me about, he, he changed, I mean, his script. He doesn't follow the script, does no, he? No, 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 no. Not at all. I'm, well, I mean, he, he follows the sense, and it wasn't, it, it wasn't technical dialogue. It didn't make any difference which question came right, first or right. whatever. But he had from the act, he, see, he was the true actor studio, not the phony actor studio. What do you mean, the true actor studio? He there? didn't go and prepare. Uh huh. He, wa he was preparing all the time. All, he prepares he all a, the time. He had a life, inner life. Uh huh. Tremendous. That's inner interesting. Life. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Tremendous. But he wasn't out, and I've got to feel the same. He, he, he had it at all. He was working all the time. and knew how to work. His working wasn't just the lines, but of finding things to do. Right. And, and to say, 
I don't want that girl to go into complete shock. Uh, <laughs> I want uh -huh. her to, to respond from me. Uh -huh. So he would do things to divert me, uh -huh. playing with the coin uh -huh. on the counter, uh -huh. you know? Yes. And, and it would throw me or what, and that's exactly, which was a better for me. Otherwise, I might Did have been. Did you knew yeah. that you were going to be in a big hit like Brandel's Wild Ones? I mean, that is, well, it was wasn't. A, no, it, it that wasn't a big hit? No. Mary? No. No. It wasn't. It wasn't. No. Mm -mm. No, it was not. Not like Streetcar and Viva Zapata and, and all the other pictures that preceded this. They were big hits. The motorcycle gang. You think uh, because what of the happened, gang or it became a, a like a cult. A, a, a cult, cult, yes. cult film. Yeah. And it's re-released. It went, it went to Europe and did fabulous. Tremendous. There it was the hit. Yeah. England in particular, France yeah, and, right, and, right. and so on and so forth. When it came back here, then it picked up and it got a better uh -huh. following. But it was no, not at the time. God, you worked with some hit. great actors. I yes, mean, I have. I you was worked with the very, best. Very, You're a lucky girl. Lucky girl, Mary. Yes. You worked with Frederick it March. You. Tell me about Frederick March, Tony Curtis. Tony Curtis, the Beachheads. Oh, uh, God. Tell me about the beach. Oh my God, that was oh. Uh, well, Tony Curtis. Tony, lovely guy. Right. Very, just couldn't have been nicer. The most beautiful eyes I've ever seen in my life. Uh huh. I mean, truly beautiful. It was a movie that was just like an ice cream. It was so different to do something like this uh, after right, doing right, the wild right. one. And Humphrey Bogart. Here's oh. another one. Oh, I loved Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey, Desperate, uh, oh, Desperate Hours? Desperate Hours. Desperate yes. Hours. What yes. a great movie William that. Wyler, terrific director. William Wyler. Yes, fabulous director. And Humphrey Bogart was ill at the time. I didn't know. I think only a few people knew because he died a few years later. Uh -huh. And we had a work schedule of only six to uh, nine to six, and he had to leave. And nobody right. really, we just thought he's a big movie star, and that's why. It was because he was ill. But he was that one of his last movies? Yes. It was. Yes. Uh, I think he made uh, Three Angels or something, something after that. Something that, and that's it. And that's it, yeah, yeah. It was great. Did you learn anything from working with Brand Humphrey Bogart or oh, Brando? Uh, more from Humphrey Bogart, because he, he had a twinkle in his eye. Not flirtatious. Yes. Oh, no. Laura no, I McCall understand. was there with their young big Was children. she there? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, but he had a twinkle in his eye, and he enjoyed acting. Uh -huh. He truly enjoyed it. Uh -huh. And, and he, he just turned to me one time, and he said, Mary, what were you thinking about when you came out of that door? And I said, hmm? <laughs> 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 and I said, what do you mean, what was I thinking about? And he said, well, weren't you thinking about uh -huh. anything before uh -huh. you came in? John Payne. Oh. There's another one. I love oh, John God, Payne. He's I, so I, tall. I did a movie. I did a movie of 20th Century. I can't remember Betty Grable and him. I can't. I was. I had. I played something like an elevator boy or something in one of his movies. Tall. Tall. Very nice. Barrel. He loved motorcycles too. He loved motorcycles. Oh, John I didn't, Payne. I yes. didn't know him a personally at all. I did not know him except they had to put four-inch heels on me. They dyed my hair blonde to uh, get you taller. Get me taller. You're a, I you were a blonde that in chest. that. Were you a blonde? blonde. In Desperate Hours. Yeah. No, no. Uh, and John Payne. John Payne's movie is, is uh, the Hell's, uh, Hell's Island. Hell, Hell's uh, Island. Yes. Hell's Island. Yes. Right. 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 I had blonde hair, and they tried to Paramount to see if she could be. Was a that done at Paramount too? Yes. Because he was a 20th Century Fox. Yes, he was. Well, actually, it was Pine and Thomas who uh -huh. released through Paramount, and I. I guess they, they you were with Paramount for six years? Yes. Signed six years. Six years. Yes, yes, God, yes. Paramount, they took good care of their stars. Yes, they did. Yes, yes. It was a good studio. I, I enjoyed working. Going to the commissary for lunch. Oh, she just so died. The lady that ran that for years and yes, years yes, yes, and years. Yes. Did you read about yes, that? Yes, she just died. Yes. She had a percentage of Cecil of B. DeMille's. Uh-huh. I Isn't wish I was running the commissary. <laughs> oh, my God. You yeah. had some good times at that commissary, did you? Oh, yes. I for had, lunch? It was like my college. You've had some good times. You know, yes. you, had, you had some good yes. times, Mary. See, I, a lot of people think of the industry, and there have been books written about it, uh -huh. that and it was a very bitter. But you're not bitter. bitter. No, no, you had good times. I was, well, I had bad times, You were too, a fresh girl. But I was lucky, yeah, and I recognized that I was. That's good. Yes, that's, I was very that's, lucky. Yeah, you you bet. at you, Mary Murphy. You're, you're a, a lucky lady. <laughs> Yes. You know, you were yes. a little but girl, 18 it. years old in a stock room, and I got discovered. But to discovered say that I didn't become the greatest actress in the world right. or get Academy Award right. and everything, and so you take bitterness and say, well, I didn't get this part, or this right. director right. did this, or that producer, or that studio. Right. That's stupid. I was given a lot of opportunities. Look at this one. A Gig Young. You did a movie with Gig Young. That was Frederick Desperate, March. That was Desperate Hours. Yes. Desperate Hours. Let's yes. show this little of this. Is okay. this uh, that's yes. Desperate Hours? Yes. This That's is with Freddie March, who was a lovely man. And I'd love actor. to see this. This is a lovely okay. scene. Okay, okay, let's show.
Dad, can't you go a little faster? I may not drive a hot rod like your lawyer friend, but I'll okay. get you there. Your mother didn't say we couldn't talk about Chuck on the way home. How is he? I don't know. We had a fight. I'm crushed. Nothing uh, trivial, I hope. Nothing serious. So sorry. Open the garage door, will you, dear? Young, that was must have been fun too, because he was a big star then too. Fred, uh, yes, know, yes, he, he played my boyfriend, boyfriend in, in the film. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, he. Uh, Frederick March, wow. I adored Frederick March, and he was always. You played his a, daughter in this. <laughs> yes, and he played the biggest joke I've ever had played on me. Like what? Well, in the film, uh, it's the three uh, convicts come in, get the house, and get the family in, and they're going to stay in the house until a right. money drop is made. Right. So they're terrorizing. Frederick March is trying to get, he thinks he gets them all out of the house, and all of a sudden, they don't. Right. Anyway, I make an attack, and I go for the gun. Uh -huh. And I go for Dewey Martin, who lovely guy, by the <laughs> yes. way. And I bite his hand, and we wrestle and do uh -huh. the whole thing. And I'm hanging on, I look like a Gila monster <laughs> hanging on to his <laughs> hand. And he throws me to the floor and the whole thing. Uh -huh. After we finished the scene, Dewey said, oh, boy, you really bit my hand, uh -huh. you know, and I get a call, and it's the nurse uh -huh. at the commissary, uh -huh. and she said, Mary, you have to come over here, and I said, well, what's wrong, and she said, well, you hurt Dewey Martin quite a bit, <laughs> and we, we have to uh, test you, and uh -huh. we have to give him a tetanus shot, Oh. and I said, what, and I go running over to the, <laughs> to the guy, oh, I'm, uh -huh. I am like, oh, my God, I feel horrible uh -huh. that, what, Frederick Mars set the whole bloody thing. I go over there nice. and everybody's laughing up. Uh -huh. They think it's a big joke and nice. so on and so forth. And I was just appalled that I would bite somebody so that yeah. they would bleed and have to get a tetanus <laughs> shot. And if, I want to show my audience yes. this right now about okay. Brando and you at the birthday part. If this Brando's uh, birthday yes, party, yes, that was that was Marlon's birthday. Marlon's birthday. Yes. This yes. is here. Let's this see. Was this was Laszlo uh, Benedict. That's oh yes, that's the director. The director, yes, a lovely man of Wild Ones. Yes, yes the Wild One. You yeah. look lovely there. This was on the set. Yes, that was on the set. Oh, that's yeah. great. Who's this, Mary? Is this Gig Young? Yeah, that was when we did Desperate. Yeah, Gig Young. Just Young. Let right, me see this. Right. Oh, uh -huh. I see. That's nice. Boy, that's this. I love this with you, Brando, in the in the uh, here. Yes, show this one yes. right here. That's nice. This yeah. nice. <laughs> he Gil really, Stratton, he who loves. became a, a terrific uh, uh, sports announcer. Uh -huh. He did, yes. Yeah, yes, he did, yeah. yes. Tell me, what has been the biggest lesson for Mer Mary um, Murphy? Come on, yeah. to Mary. Tell what me. do you mean the biggest lesson? In life, you have, you know, you, uh, you've had some great, you know, you know, you've had some great times. You're saying you've enjoyed your life. And, I guess I, what is your I was given a tremendous amount of opportunities, and right. I don't think that I took advantage of them as I should have. Right. I needed, for my type of personality, at that, I don't now, but at that time, uh, being so young, I needed a, a parent or, an, or a personal manager or someone to say, do you know where you are? Do you know the opportunities so you, you did didn't give? So you did it on your own? You yes. Didn't, really? Yes. Oh, yes. You yes. didn't have a personal manager who really no, guides you and everything, no. Mary? No, really? No, no, no. See, now some people have that, or they have a parent, or they have somebody to say, "Look at you! You've been given these opportunities. Take mm -hmm. advantage of it." What has been the hardest for you in Hollywood? Would you look back? Has anything? What has been the hardest for Mary? Well, I guess because when you get older, you the lack of demand. <laughs> Uh -huh. You're still working. Which, You're still working. Well, you I did Manhattan. Rarely. You did Manhattan a few years ago in the seventies. I, no, I, think, I did not. It? That was not me. That's a that's an error. It is an error. Yes, it should be taken off. That that oh. was not me. In it wasn't Manhattan. Mary Murphy. No, and I wouldn't have liked to have anyway. I wouldn't have liked to have worked with Woody Allen. Why is that? Tell me. No, I don't want to discuss okay. that. That's okay. that Mia Farrow thing, no, which no. I thought he was dreadful. Ah, uh, I do. Uh huh. You know why? What's I your philosophy? I see uh, your no, philosophy in your okay. life now, and ask you about that. Okay. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. What upset me about Woody Allen with that is he turned to the camera and said, what did I do wrong? <laughs> now, if see. he sees that he didn't do anything wrong, uh -huh. is, is appalling. I understand. Me. I'm sorry. Mary Murphy. Yes. What's your philosophy in life? Well, I... I like a, um, you seem like a very uncomplicated lady, and very you're right forward, and you're very honest. And yes, you're very, yes. You like things correct. I try. Life is oh, Dennis Tell Prager. Me. I listen to Dennis Prager. Have you ever listened to him, by the way? Yes, the I have. Yes, oh, I do. I, yeah, I think he's ahead. wonderful. And he came up with the best line in the world. He said, "Life is messy." It is right now. Now. Well, it's always you, and we're always out there More trying so to than clean ever. it up, and, yeah. and don't let that get you down. Uh huh. I guess that would be a good philosophy as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. I see. Are you writing a book about uh, no, I'm not writing a girl a who, book. no? You're not going to write a book? Oh, everybody has. What do you, you think just of had Shelley Winters and they're all of her books. <laughs> what and, do you, you know, think of Hollywood today, Mary Murphy? Don't ask me that question. Why? Oh, I, oh I, don't, I don't like it. You don't all. like it? No, no. I understand what happened. They tried in the 50s after having a glorious 20, 30 year reign. They right. were losing an audience. So they tried Vista Vision, Cinerama, they tried everything. Uh -huh. Nothing worked. So what worked? Sex, violence, madness. That's America today. It's all over the world now. Yes. But and everybody that's the copies tragedy. America. Now the only way, now who do we blame? They bid for the money and the yes. greed, but they yes. have to to pay their people. Or we the public who go and see this mm -hmm. trash. Is it because Mary Murphy grew up in the Yes. Fifties. Yes. When there was no, really not a casting couch, they people did say there are few, but there really wasn't a casting couch out there in Hollywood. Or they were, oh, I they think there was. There in certain was, areas? but yes, but if you, know. you advertise that, right? If, you know. So you, yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, it was there if if you wanted to go that route. I was fortunate, you know. I just stumbled in and Is and and clumsed around for a while. <laughs> Uh -huh. You know, and uh, do you have any regrets that you didn't have a, a good manager or someone yes. to represent you? Yes, I told you. you. Yes, yes. You do. Well, that was my fault. I should have gotten somebody and said, "Hey, look, I've got some opportunities here. Uh -huh. I should go and really try and uh, assert myself." Uh -huh. And I did not. I see. I see. What's the biggest lesson? You realize, tell, realize yeah. your opportunities. That I would say, when you, when, be prepared, all actors are told this, be prepared for when that moment hits you, right? And you're when, telling the young kids out there, I want you to tell those young kids when they come to Hollywood, oh, what do you, you're prepared, you want to, what they should do, prepare themselves? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Self discipline is the greatest thing that you could possibly have to be an actor. Oh. And stage gives you that. I didn't have that. You didn't have stage but, at all, did no, you? No, 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 no. You I regret that, Mary? Yeah, I had an opportunity, but that fell you apart did, also. That was a long story yes. with Otto Preminger. I was going to do uh, the moon is uh, the moon is blue. Blue, yes. yes. I was going to take over for Barbara Bel Getty. She got pregnant. Right.